A mother is still mourning the loss of a daughter and doesn't understand why the person authorities filed charges against wasn't charged with homicide. Kimberly Battle, along with family members of the Lima chapter of the NAACP, gathered today to ask why. Why the woman authorities arrested in connection to the shooting death of 23-year-old Jakia Battle is only charged with reckless homicide. Kiara Toddy was indicted by a grand jury last week, arrested on Saturday, and is out on bail. Jakia was shot in the chest back on October 18th at a home on Eastwood Drive. She died on October 19th last year. Her mother says it was called in as a self-inflicted wound, but an autopsy done in Lucas County confirmed it was a homicide. A murder is a murder. I don't care who it is. I don't care what color they is. We all bleed red. Act like it when somebody's kid is murdered. You make sure you get the evidence that you would have wanted if it was one of your children. Now, that's what I think they should have done. That was my kid. You were the law. You got a job to do like I had something to do, and that was barrier. I did my part. Where you at? So oftentimes... The president of the local NAACP says they want to meet with the Allen County prosecutor in what he calls an understanding meeting. They just want answers as why the charge is reckless homicide. He says gun violence carries a price tag none of us want to suffer. Deal with the issue of gun violence in our community because the impact is greater than what we can bear. Now, in addition to that, Kim has come to us simply because she felt like she was not getting justice from the local justice department. Your hometown stations contacted Allen County Prosecutor Jurgen Waldick, and he says he has not been contacted by the NAACP or the Battle family since the indictment and arrest of Toddy. He says he is always available to talk.